Hello everybody, welcome back to our channel. In this episode, we're going to be solving a Physics 7C practice problem on the topic of quantum particles, quantum mechanics. If you're finding this content helpful, please make sure to leave a like, it really helps our channel. So this is the problem that we're going to be solving today. An electron is placed in a one-dimensional box with a side length of one angstrom. And then we have to figure out what is its energy, what is its wavelength, and what would be the wavelength of the photon, uh, photon the electron must absorb in order to transition from the ground state to the first excited state. Okay, so as you can see, I have my working space over here. Um, I have a bunch of constants that the quiz uh, gave out on the bottom of the quiz. If you would like to look at the PDF version of the quiz, every single video that I've made for 7C, the PDF version is on the description of the video. Uh, so these are uh, these are the constants that were provided. Uh, this equation was provided for a particle in a box, which is what we're going to be using. Uh, this equation was provided for absorption, and this equation was provided as the energy of the electrons. So we're going to you know, use that when the time comes. So first of all, uh, we need to figure out the ground state energy. And for this, we just need to recall that ground state basically means n is equal to 1 because n are the uh, integers for a particle in the box. So 1, 2, 3, and so on. So we just go ahead and do energy 1 is equal to h squared. So 6.626 times 10 to negative 34. This would be squared. Uh, 1 squared, which is just 1, divided by 8 times. Now this is an electron, so we have to use the mass of the electron. 9.11 times 10 to negative 31. No square, no, no square. And then we have to use the length of the box, 1 times 10 to negative 10 square. So let's just go ahead and put this on a calculator. So let's see. 6.62 times 10 to the negative 34 close close, squared, close, and then this is divided by 8 times 9.11 times 10 to the negative 31 times um, 1 times 10 to the negative 10 close, close, square, close. So 6.01 times 10 to the 18 joules. Final answer for part A. So this was just a matter of remembering that the ground state is uh, n is equal to one and then applying the definition. <coughs> Now, part B, they're asking for the wavelength. So there are two different ways of doing this. The first way, and by far the easiest way, and the way that I would solve this in one second, would be to remember that when an electron or a particle is in a box, or it is confined, it acts as a fixed, fixed standing wave. So fixed, fixed standing wave. And then if you remember that for the fixed, fixed standing wave, your first harmonic was this on your fixed fixed then you would remember that for the fixed fixed first harmonic lambda was equal to um to l so in this case uh, well, lambda 1, because this is the first harmonic, so you have to specify at this point. So that would basically mean that lambda 1 
is 2 times 1 times 10 to the negative 10. So lambda 1 is equal to 2 times 10 to the negative 10 meters, or 2 Armstrong's final answer. Now, obviously, this was the easy way to do it because all you have to remember is that particles in a box act like fixed fix, um, scenarios. Now, the hard way to do it, I'm not going to do it, um, so I don't see the point, but the other way to do it would be to remember that this energy over here from the particle in the box is also um, all kinetic energy, so it's all kinetic energy. So this would mean that this number is also equal to kinetic energy. So P squared over 2M. But then P squared, uh, you know, for P, we have, so, so this P is equal to uh, H over lambda. So kinetic energy is H squared over lambda squared times 2M is equal to this number. So this, uh, you would just put this number over here, so that's easy. Uh, mass, you would just put the mass. So basically, if you just put this on this side of the equations and this to this side of the equation, take a square root, you would find lambda. And then lambda, uh, you know, it, it, you should have a final answer that is exactly the same. Uh, but this would be the algebraic um, way to go. And again, it's just a matter of just like putting it on a calculator, take a square root of all of these numbers and you will get the same. So that's basically how you would do it with algebra. But again, obviously just remembering your standing waves uh, would be more useful. So now for part C, we have to find the wavelength of the photon that must be absorbed in order to go from the ground state. So if the electron goes from the ground state to the first excited state, like this. So for this, we need to use our other uh, provided equation, which is this one over here. So E final is equal to E in, um, initial plus E photon. In this state, E final is equal to uh, the second state because it's the final state. And then your initial state plus the photon. So the energy of the photon which by definition is equal to this equation is equal to 2 minus 1. like this. Now we already have the first one, so let's just go ahead and calculate what the second one is. So the second one, just by applying the definition, is 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34 squared, 2 squared, 8, 9.11 times 10 to the negative 31, 1 times 10 to the negative 10, 2. Like this. So, let's see. I'm just going to go ahead and put this real fast. So, I already have this part, so all I have to do is oh yeah so it's this number times four like this so let's see so this number minus this number has to be equal, okay. So, 
So let's see. Negative 18. Oh, goodness. What did I do wrong? So this has to be equal to 1.80 times 10 to the negative 17 joules. So this has to be equal to this. So lambda is equal to hc divided by this number. So 6.62 times 10 to the negative 34 of light 3 times 10 to the 8 divided by 1.18 times 10 to the negative 17 so let's see what we get um, 6.62 times 10 to the negative 34 times 3 times 10 to the 8 divided by 1.80 times 10 to the negative 17. So, uh, so this is 1.1 times 10 to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. One, two, three, four, five, yeah. Negative eight meters final answer. So this is my final answer for part C. Um, so other than it was a pain to just put all of these numbers on a calculator, this problem by itself was pretty straightforward. You have to apply some definition that they were giving you on the bottom of the quiz. Then we had to either um, use our concept of kinetic energy or use our concept of fixed fixed standing waves to figure out lambda and then for part c again we needed to apply our definition for absorption that dina gave us so just apply this uh, and also apply the definition for your photon and then you're good so if you found this uh, video helpful please make sure to leave a like it really helps our channel and i will see you guys on the next video